What's up everyone, this is Sunny. Today, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to build a power app using Copilot. Whether you're new to app building or just looking to speed things up, Copilot's got you covered. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use Copilot to create an app in minutes. We're talking data, layout, functionality, everything you need without the hassle. And so stick around, let's get right into it. And by the end, you'll see just how powerful and simple it is to build your next app using Copilot. Let's do this. So we're gonna start off by asking Copilot to build out an application that has two tables, an expense reimbursement app that has the expense reports table and another table with a master list of all expense list items. I'm gonna hit go and it's gonna build out our application for us, but it first starts with data. So we're gonna look at this schema here and we're gonna update what's built out for us. So it's gave us some generic table items like ID, name and whatnot, but I wanna ask Copilot to add some columns. Okay, so I'm gonna say add these columns and I'm gonna hit go. And it's going to add those columns for us in that table. And you can see here that you can edit the columns that it's created. And Copilot is meant to assist you, right? So it's not like it's going to build out the perfect schema for you. You're still going to have to update a little bit. Now I'm going to add columns to my other table, the expense list items table. And while it's doing that, I want to show you how up there you can see that it created that relationship to the many to one relationship with the expense list items and expense reports. And it looks like it failed to create the columns. So I'm going to try again. And now it did something crazy. It created an entirely new table. And that's not right. But the thing with Gen AI is you have to be specific in your ask. So I'm going to say in the expense list items table, add these fields. And it actually does that for me. So this looks pretty good. It added all the fields that I wanted. I can make edits to it as necessary. And now I want to add some sample data. So I'm going to say, hey, give me 20 rows. And here's the thing. If you ask Copilot for 100 rows of sample data, it won't do it. So you have to be nice to it and coax it and say, hey, give me 20 more. Give me 10 more. So that's what I end up doing. And I get a good bit of sample data, which is awesome because when I'm building demos, sample data is the bane of my existence. It's just busy work, right? So I hit go and it created an app for us. And this, it's a full UI. It has our expense report screen, our expense list item screen. Now, what I wanna do is create a button that will take me from one screen to the other. So I'm gonna say, add this view, exp view report expenses button. And it's actually going to wire that button for us. I'm just going to change the name here. So if I click it, it navigates to the other page. And so it's functional. So that's awesome. And now what I want to do is update this filter here so that it shows me the expense list items for a selected report instead of a master list of list items across all reports. So first, I'm going to create a variable and store that selected report into that variable. So I'm going to say whatever I selected in this gallery, store it in this selected report variable. And now I'm going to use Copilot in the other screen to see if I can filter based on the selected report. But if you look here, none of these are really useful for me. So I'm not going to go with them. I'm going to do this the old school way because I know how. So I'm going to go up to the function bar and I'm going to say filter this list items based on the selected report. So only show me the items that have that report ID on them. You can see it's now filtering based on report. And what I can do is use Copilot suggestions to update 
my view. So I want this field to show item details. And you can see right off the bat, it just gives me suggestions to update my uh, my fields and labels. Here, I don't want just 900 to show up. I want this formatted. So Copilot just helped me with that. It put the dollar sign there and the uh, decimal places. And so I can also add a third. And now I want the category. And it's really this easy. If we didn't have Copilot, I'd have to go Google how to update, uh, how to text format and update things and add different fields. But here, it's much easier thanks to Copilot. Now I'm also going to update the menu title. And I'm going to do this the old school way because I know how. You don't have to use Copilot for everything. You know, sometimes it's just faster to do it your own way or the old school way if you know how. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to say this is the expense list items for this report for this person. And I'm going to do a little test run here. I'm going to hit new. And say it's for transportation and for Uber. And here, that report ID should have already been populated because we're already in report one. It shouldn't be asking us to add that again. So I'm going to update that. I'm going to go up and I'm going to say the default selected items are the variable I created earlier. So that selected report, just pull it down into this field. It's really that simple. And so it looks good. Let's do a little test run. Let's view the report expenses. Looks good. Let's hit new. And you can see automatically it's pulling the report ID like we told it to. Great. Oh, let's close out of here. And now let's update our UI in the first page or screen. So let's use Copilot here, but not the other way I showed you with the suggestions. We're going to use natural language and say, hey, give me this person's first name and last name in this label. And once I hit enter, it's going to generate that formula for me. And when I hit tab, it's going to apply it. So you can see it applied it. And now we have John Doe. And here, we can switch up what we're seeing. I don't want to use, uh, I don't want to use natural language. I'm going to show you the other way. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to use Copilot suggestions. And I'm going to pick something else. I'm going to pick the report ID. And I'm going to apply that. Done. And lastly, I want to format this with a dollar sign and the decimal places, right? So I'm going to use natural language this time and not the suggestions button. Show this item's dollar amount with a dollar sign in two decimal places. And I'm going to hit enter. It's going to generate my function for me. Once I hit tab, it applies it. So you can see that's exactly what I wanted. It's also identical to what we did before with the copilot button instead of natural language. So you have multiple ways to alter your app with copilot and basically augment how you build it and so now we're doing a little test i'm going to go up to one of these reports and check their list items and look at all that good sample data right pretty sweet i'm going to view report expenses for report one hit new and let's put in a dummy request here restaurant fees maybe i went to the restaurant bar and you can see that the report ID has automatically been pulled. That's working. Let's just make sure the edit or the uh, the trash button are actually functional because Copilot made those. And look at that. So those buttons are all functional. And that's what Copilot created initially when we created the application. And that's it. We've just built a fully functioning power app with the help of Copilot in minutes. It really just takes the guesswork out of the process and lets you focus on what matters, getting your app up and running. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Power Platform tips and tricks. If you got any questions or want to see more tutorials, drop a comment and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.